Hi, in this video we'll talk about Chloropass. We will talk about the structure, function and also about one quite interesting fact. So let's start. Chloropass are organelles surrounded by two membranes and uh, they conduct photosynthesis. And uh, that's their function. Chloroplasts are found in uh, cells of plants and also in some animals, for example, euglena. There's one interesting fact about them. Chloroplasts and also mitochondria contain their own circular DNA and uh, 70 S ribosomes. If you remember, bacteria also have their own circular DNA and uh, 70 S ribosome. And uh, there's also a theory that mitochondria and uh, chloroplasts were made from bacteria. And uh, this uh, theory is really popular. And uh, now let's talk about the structure. Outer membrane. It is permeable to small molecules and ions, which diffuses easily, but it's not permeable to larger compounds, for example, proteins. In the membrane. It is specialized with uh, special transport proteins, which uh, transport various compounds. And uh, intermembrane space. It is uh, just a gap which separates two membranes. And now stroma. Stroma is fluid within the inner membrane, where flow the DNA, ribosomes and also some compounds, for example, again, protein. And if we talk about the photosynthesis, stroma is uh, the place where Kelvin circle occurs. Thylakoids. Thylakoids are membranous sacs where light reactions of photosynthesis occur. So Kelvin circle occurs in stroma and uh, light reactions occur in thylakoids. And uh, thylakoids are also arranged in special stacks, which are called gram. And uh, lamella. Lamella are also thylakoids, but uh, lamella is longer. And uh, lamella connects different grams. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video was uh, really useful for you. And uh, if it really was, Please subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. And it will motivate me to do videos with better quality and more often. See ya!